What's going on everybody? My name is Marcus. Welcome back to another video. Okay guys, so I need to go over these sales with you real quick because I'm in the middle of a garage sale, but I wanted to show you guys what sold uh, over the last day or so. So uh, it's all packed up right there. So I can't really show you the items, but I'll pop the comps up on the, I'll pop the items up on the screen. So I got Call of Duty, PlayStation 3, Call of Duty 3. Uh, I paid $3 for it. I sold it for $9 plus shipping, so not a lot of profit. Um, I sold a pair of Air Jordan 1 Retro Birmingham Barons, uh, $45 free shipping, so I think I'll take away about 30 bucks after fees and whatnot. Okay, so next up is this Red Bull hat. I paid a dollar and some change, maybe a dollar twenty for this, and it sold for ten dollars plus shipping. Uh, the next item is this Burst Rose Gold Water Flosser. I paid seven dollars for this at the Amazon return store near me, and uh, sold for forty-five dollars plus shipping. Uh, I also sold this Cuisinart ice cream maker. Uh, paid twelve dollars for this at the Goodwill. Horrible investment on my part, and uh, I've had it for about six months. So. Somebody sent me an offer for 15 and I took it. I'll probably not make much money off of it. If that, if maybe I'll break even, I don't know. And uh, the last item I got going out is this Gillette Vintage uh, hair dryer. I got from Flip the World in a dumpster mystery box. And uh, I got 681 into this item, maybe 618 into this item. And uh, somebody sent me an offer for 15 bucks and I took it. So. Not a lot of profit, but it's out the door now. I'm going to share these items with you guys, so let's just jump right into it, man. No wasting time. First up, I got this Toronto Maple Leafs hat. I got it at the Goodwill Bins for $1.20. So it's a Toronto Maple Leafs fitted hat by 59, New Era 5950. Um, I paid $1.20 for it, and I sold it for $22.50 plus shipping. Next up is an item that I've been sitting on for a ridiculous amount of time, guys. Now, this item had over over a thousand views on it and no watchers, but it's this Canon brand, uh, Genuine Ink. It's the Cyan colorway. Um, I don't know why there were so many views on this, and I really, you know, I don't know what's so special about it, but I had the price listed. Can't even remember what I had it listed at. But I ended the listing because it was getting close to the time being out on it at the end of the month. And instead of just letting it renew, I just ended and sold similar. And I listed it for 19 bucks. I paid $7 for this. I paid $7 for this at the Amazon return store near me. It's called Dillbins. Next up is another item I got from the Amazon return store, which I've sold this already. This Xbox One controller. I sold it to somebody on Facebook Marketplace, and once she received it, she said that her kid tried to play it or hook it up, and it wouldn't stay paired. I can't remember if it wouldn't stay paired or if it wouldn't stay powered on. And uh, I sold similar today, and somebody sent me a best offer of 18 bucks, and I accepted. Next up is this Disney Princess TV. Uh, it doesn't have the crown on top, and the remote's missing two buttons on it, and part of a third, so it's in pretty rough shape. I ended that listing earlier today and I hit sell, sell similar on it as well. Kept all the same photos, all the same information and everything. And uh, I listed it for $49.99. Maybe 20 minutes later, I got an offer on it for, for $35. Bucks. I countered with $44.99 and they countered back with $40 and sent me a message along with it that said, the TV doesn't have the crown on it and the remote's in rough shape. So I just went ahead and I accepted it. 40 bucks, six into 40 plus $33 shipping the buyer paid. So this is a horrible buy guys. And this is one of the reasons why I say I don't like buying hype sneakers for these simple, these instances like this. So I got these brand new Yeezys. They're called Mist Slate or something like that. But they're the Yeezy 500 uh, high tops, right? Brand new tags on them and everything still. But guys, I paid 250 bucks for these, right? Size seven in men's. I paid 250 bucks for these things. Brand new. 
And by the time I got them, the market had plummeted on them. And I mean, like, the online trending price on eBay says 170 for them. I ended the listing today as well. Sold similar. And then someone sent me an offer for, uh, what was it? Someone sent me an offer for 165 I had them listed for 180 And uh, I accepted, man, because I just wanted to get rid of these things. You know, and uh, that's a... That's a negative profit of 85 bucks. Hashtag negative profit. Uh, you know, sometimes you just got to move inventory, man. And I've been sitting on these things, I think, for a good five months now. And, uh, man, it was just a really bad buy on my behalf. And it's one of the reasons why I've steered clear of buying sneakers that I'm guaranteed to lose money on. Uh, it's just Yeezys. I don't know what's going on with the market on them, and I don't care to know what's going on with the market on them either. I'm a Jordan man myself, so I'm going to just stick with the Jordans. This vintage Salad Master one quart saucepan made in Dallas, Texas. Um, Salad Master is a pretty good brand to look out for if you can get the complete uh, set. Not even just a complete set, but if you can get the pot with the lid on it, it'll make the value of your item shoot up. So I ended up listing this uh, saucepan fairly high just because Salad Master is a sought after brand. But like I said, I didn't have the lid or anything. So I ended up dropping my price to about $19.99 and it sold flat out for $19.99. It's a Kramer brand guitar, hero guitar uh, with the strap, but there's no dongle. So, uh, I've been sitting on this one for about a good five months as well. I paid six bucks for it from the Goodwill. It sold for $19.99 today. Um, and next up, I got these, these Big Star women's jeans. Uh, I got, grabbed these for my, my girlfriend's daughter for $4. Them Thursday afternoon, they sold yesterday, so... And about a little over 24 hours, they sold for uh, $22. $4 into $22, but they sold quick, so it works for me. And then last up, I'm not going to be able to take it out of the box, guys. But So I'll just pop a cop of this thing up on the screen for you. Somebody offered me uh, $20 for it yesterday, and I accept it because I just want to get rid of it. So what's going on everybody? It's Sunday. I got a lot of orders that well, I wouldn't say a lot, but I got a decent amount of orders that I got to grab to get ready for shipping. So I got a busy day of shipping ahead of me, but I wanted to share these sales with you guys. And uh, I just want to jump right into it because I got a lot of work to do. So first up is this Patagonia trucker snapback hat. It's gray with the classic Patagonia logo on it. I paid 70 cents for this. Uh, sold it for 19 bucks there next up is this vintage Polaroid two-pack type 88 uh, film for instant pictures from Polaroid this was expired in February 1981 super duper vintage this thing's older than I am but I picked this up at a garage sale for a dollar and I sold this for 25 bucks plus shipping Next up is these new with tags, Old Navy, they're called Old Navy Big Leopard Jelly Flip Flop, whatever. Some Big Leopard Jelly Flip Flop. Uh, I paid two bucks for these at a garage sale last weekend. Uh, sold them for eight bucks plus shipping. Not a lot of profit on that one, but hey, it moved fairly quick. Next up is another new with tags old navy item i got at that same garage sale i paid two bucks for these um they're a men's small nine inch seam inseam it comes right above the knee um i paid two bucks for those and those sold for a total of 15 bucks plus shipping next up is this north face gray women's cargo pants um, I picked these up for four dollars a few months back at the Goodwill and uh, they sold for $14.99 um, all these items that I'm getting ready to go over with with you guys I ended the listing and I hit sell similar so out of my 21 orders that I got going out tomorrow 14 of them 
have sold because I ended the listing and hit sell similar. And the good Lord above blessed me with uh, the people to watch to uh, buy these items. Anyway, so I ended 14 listings, right? Kept the pictures, maybe changed a few details and some, changed the prices a little bit in others, and then relisted the items through the sell similar option. Not relist this item, but the next day and even the same day, uh, I'm 14 sales in because of the sell similar option. So if you guys are sitting on sales and they're not sitting on items that aren't selling and they've just been stagnant for a while, I suggest you end the listing and hit sell similar and do a similar listing with maybe you change the pictures up or maybe you change the pricing up or just change something or keep the same exact pictures and just relist the item because it'll get boosted back to the top of the search results and your item will be fresh because if you got an item that's been listed for a long time and nobody's buying it, eBay takes that as nobody wants that item and it pushes it further down in the listings and your item won't be getting seen by any, you know, few if any view kickstart your items back into the uh, top of the algorithm and be getting some sales. Anyway, next up is this pair of vintage uh, Carhartt bibs. I picked these up at the Goodwill bins for $1.92. I had them sitting for quite some time as well. Now, this is an item that I ended the listing on and it hit sell similar and I dropped the price just a little bit and uh, it sold for $29. So, uh, next up, all four of these Dr. Seuss, if I ran the circus books, slash the price to 25 bucks. I got an offer for 17 bucks on one. I accept it. I got an offer for 15 bucks on one. I accept it. And I got an offer for 23.50 on one and I accept it. And then someone paid the full $25 outright. I got $8.49 a piece on each of these books, so I'll make a decent amount of profit on two of those sales, and on the other two, I'll make some profit, but it won't be as much, but that's fine with me, because I'm making more than what I spent on them back. So, uh, Kosori Gooseneck Kettle, uh, this is an item that I had sitting for a while. I paid seven bucks for that from the, uh, Amazon return store, the deal bin store in my neighborhood, uh. I ended the listing, hit sell similar, and then it sold for 30 bucks. I got $7 into that item. Real quick, guys, I forgot to add these Carhartt pants that I sold. I got all these for $1.70 a piece at a garage sale last week. I got 21 pairs for $1.70 a piece. I sold these for $22, $1.70 into $22. So, yeah, that's a good sell too, guys. Okay, guys, I got a quick question for you. For all my fellow resellers out there that sell on Facebook Marketplace, right? Uh, Facebook told me that my shipping um, privileges are put on hold until the IRS verifies my information or whatever. The tax side of things gets squared out. So what I want to know is for any of you guys that sell on Facebook Marketplaces, how long this process takes, how long it's taking you. So can you please let me know in the comment section below how long it's taking you guys to get your uh, 1099 or your W-9 or whatever the form is that you got to get filled out, however long it took you guys for it to get past. So that's the sales so far, guys. I got 21 sales going out so far. Hopefully I'll get some more. If not, I'm still super thankful for what I do have. It's been a great weekend so far. Um, I hope you guys are having good sales too. And if you're not, try the sell similar option, guys. And let me know in the comment section below if it works for you guys. And uh, if it does, you're welcome. <laughs> so yeah, man, that's pretty much all I got for you guys in this video. I got to go because I got to get this video edited and get my shipping and packaging done. So if you guys got anything out of this video, don't forget to leave it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down in the comment section. You don't even have to subscribe to the channel, but I will catch you guys in the next video. Until then, let's make this cash, guys. Peace. Okay, guys, so I wanted to go over the breakdown of all the items that you guys saw me sell in this video. Give you guys the numbers and uh, let you guys know what I actually walked away with at the end of the day. So the total gross amount that I made from Friday to Sunday night was $1,194.23. Now that all sounds fine and dandy until you take away the cost of goods, which was $405.95.
which left me with shipping fees of $234.88 and then eBay fees was $164.79. So what I left, so what I take away after the end of three days is a total of $388.61 is what I take away for three days worth of work. So it's not bad, definitely not bad at all. Uh, almost $400 in three days, I'll take that definitely. I'm definitely thankful for each one of those sales. That is gonna wrap it up, guys. Um, thanks for tuning into the video. If you guys got any value out of it or anything, you liked any of it at all, please leave a thumbs up. Um, you know, it really helps the channel out a lot. Leave a comment down below. Uh, you guys don't have to subscribe to the channel. And uh, follow me on Instagram, guys, at Dixon's Pickens. And um, that's pretty much it, guys. I'll catch you guys on our next video. But until then, let's make this cash, guys. Peace.